Hello from Slovenia again. I'm back home from Vegas, from Poor Corn. It was an amazing experience, but I'm still tired. I'm still trying to get back on track. Uh, it's Tuesday, so I'm home about five days and I'm still kind of confused in my head, but hopefully I will come back on track soon. So today I will show you how to mix pouring medium with US products, with products that you can buy in US uh, for reverse flower dips. We use that uh, on pour con and it worked fine. So for those who were there and try to refresh the memory and for those who were not there to know how to mix it that you can do your reverse flower dips. So, first we will mix pouring medium. Pouring medium cont uh, contains, <laughs> if this is the right word, Elmer's School Glue. This is one product. And the other is acrylic binder by Amsterdam. So these two products together and water will be our pouring medium. When I will talk about ratios, I will talk in fluid measurements, ounces, milliliters, cups, fluid measurements, not metrics, so not grams. So I have this cup that it has milliliters and I will add three parts or 300 milliliters, 30 milliliters, 30 milliliters of uh, school glue, 30 milliliters of acrylic binder and 40 milliliters water and I will get one liter so so three parts of Elmer school glue three parts of acrylic binder so we have six parts together and four parts water so let's do that Just have to stir my binder before I will use it. Okay, so let's. Okay, this is three parts of binder. And now three parts of school glue, Elmer school glue. Now I will mix those two ingredients together and then I will add water. Just mix them together a little bit. I see it's Tick, tick, tick. And I will add two parts first, just that it will be easier to mix this in. And the pouring medium is kind of thin consistency. Don't be afraid, but as I already said on pour con, you can play with the consistencies after. Okay, four parts. 
Here we go. Okie doke, see, it's a thin consistency. This is our pouring medium. And now to mix the paints. So if you want to get lacing, you will need some Vallejo pearl medium or extreme sheen gold, extreme sheen sterling silver this one lace to create lacing too and some others I will put other others in the description box but I mostly use this pearl medium and I will mix some pearl first and the ratio again are fluid measurements so I will mix one part Vallejo I will just eyeball you know it's not that you have to do the, the totally totally precise amounts and I will use just a dollop of this titanium white by Amsterdam to make it a little more white not so kind of pearly mix this together and I will add the same amount of Pouring medium, mix together, maybe I should do smaller amount because now I'm, I have trouble mixing, maybe I can Take you a little closer for this part. Definitely I should do smaller amount because now I need to adjust this a little bit with water and I don't have space here. Let's just see. We will do a test after and let's call this pearl mixture and the extreme sheen gold mixture a catalyst because it will give us some lacing effect so I will do less of this one that I will not have a problem with too much paint in the cup this cup is three ounce cup
doesn't need a lot of mixing as you can see okay this should be just the right consistency but we will we will check them later so these two will be our catalysts and now let's mix some colors and what I normally do I just add pouring medium for those and then adding paint this is uh, Amsterdam oh, Amsterdam Deep Carmine Expert Series Amsterdam Okay, let's mix this together. And this one will definitely need some water. I can already see that it's too thick. And this pouring medium can be used, you know, for other techniques too. It's not just pouring medium for the flower dips. Okay, so water to consistency that it will kind of leave almost any mound and disappear quite. right away almost because uh, with my pouring medium with US uh, with uh, UE products my mixture is a little thicker but for this pouring medium it doesn't work with the thick paints so they should be thinner So I go one to one ratio and then I uh, try to get the consistency, not try, I add water to get the consistency because one to one ratio should be just okay for all the tube paints, not the heavy body ones, the medium body with the heavy body you should add less. Paint. Okay, just a little more. Okay, this should do. Oh, let me show you the consistency. See, it leaves the mount and disappears almost immediately. And when we will do the test, maybe I will thin them down a little bit more. I, and another thing that you can do with your you can do your own color of the catalyst with adding pearl medium, Vallejo pearl medium and add some these little piggy pigments I will use this harvest, harv, harvest gold uh, if you add more you will have more um, of that color if you add less you will just tint your pearl a little bit so I want quite some of this harvest gold 
So I will just mix that in and it creates kind of champagne color because the pearl gives you know a paler look to the piggies so just mix this in and add pouring medium again in one to one ratio and as I said you don't need to be totally precise with that just about, you know, one to one ratio. When you will get your first flower right and you will feel your consistency, you will know for the next time. It's just not... Some recipes for some techniques are, you know, you have to be totally precise with measurements, but here it's not the issue if you eyeball think that it's good so I will mix all the other colors I will mix Amsterdam just Amsterdam Carmine and Amsterdam Azo yellow medium and then and black for my base and then we will go to the next step so I mixed all the colors and now we will do a test if our consistency is right and how I do that I will drip a little bit of the pearl white mixture that it's catalyst and some of the paint mixture on top blow and watch so if it's lace it should be okay so let's try the other catalyst the 24k gold Blow. Works. So, I will use just these two. I mix this um, piggy in just to show you that you can create your own pearl mixtures. And this works like a catalyst too. So maybe I can show you here on top of this one. See, works. So, when you will layer your paints, you have to go one catalyst, one to paint, one catalyst, one to paint. The only mistake that you can do is, I will show you, to pour two catalysts next to each other because you will not get any reaction. You see? A little bit of selling but this will not create lacing on your flowers or the next thing that you can go wrong is to layer two two paints together see nothing So you have to go, let me just try to demonstrate, to paint, catalyst, to paint again, you 
I didn't blow this one out okay but you see if here I added catalyst in between and here was just carmine and yellow you see the difference so two paint catalyst two paint catalyst and uh, I like to do this on those kind of uh, you know uh, cardboards or something because I press them together and sometimes I get some nice thing you know I didn't press them enough here but don't need to waste the the testing piece the piece that you have for a test or how can I say I normally just press them together I didn't have quite enough paint here but you can probably imagine you just don't need to waste just try what will happen sometimes it's nice sometimes it's not so let me clean this up a little bit and grab the canvas and show you how to pour your paint on canvas to be nice. Okay. I felt so bad that after I mixed my paints I have had to go oh, lay down. I did test positive for COVID, so this is the next day. I just stored the mixed paints and I will demonstrate the flower today, the next day, not the same day as I mixed my paints. So, weird stuff this COVID. I was negative for four days, feeling bad, but the fifth day I got the positive test, so hopefully it will go away soon. So paints are still good consistency, this is the consistency, it leaves a little mound and disappears almost immediately so for the base coat I have it in this bigger jar uh, cup because I like to pour around I will say three ounces of paint on 8 by 8 inch canvas and tilt it back into the the cup because I want a nice smooth coverage to have to that paint that will flow over the cup will flow evenly if you just spread this with um, a palette knife you know you will get some in imperfections kind of it will not be so smooth and it can Effect, affect your pattern so I will just you can always touch up your sides later if they are not totally covered don't need to worry about this right now I will just add a little bit here where I see that I didn't have quite enough and I'm out of gloves and I'm out of my napkin so I will use just a napkin that I have not the one that I use normally just have to wash my hands real quick
Okay, now I will put my flower shaped cup down in the middle, hope so, and start layering paints. Remember, catalyst to paint, catalyst to paint. So I will start with pearl white mixture and when the paint starts flowing over the sides, stop. And the next one will be deep carmine. Stop. And let's do gold that it's catalyst. Stop. And let's do yellow. No, oh, I will go with the other carmine. Stop. And catalyst again. Stop. And the yellow. Stop. And I will go with gold again. Stop. And deep carmine. Stop. White again. Pearl white again, I should say. Stop. Carmine. Stop. Stop. Gold. Stop. Yellow. Stop. One more. Pearl white. Deep carmine. Gold. Carmine. All right. And yellow. Okay, doc. Grab a skewer. And I will just do this to give it more like a petal shape. Be careful, do this nicely because this is kind of a negative for your flower after. So you have to do this part nice if you want to have a nice flower at the end. And don't need to bother about the middle because it will be covered anyway. So I have just when you look for your napkins, just make sure that they are bigger than your canvas. So, I will just put this down. I spray it with water a little bit to soften it up, just to... I, I find it easier for me to lift it up. Okay. And now, when you gather your corners, try to be as close to the canvas as possible and try to keep your flower hidden until the final lift. I don't know if this napkin will do its work. We will see. So, like that. Wrap the present kind of and slowly lift up oh, and I dripped but it's okay it wasn't the perfect one but still see here it's a little weird 
but it's not a big deal and now I see a little paint missing here on the sides because my napkin drags some paint so I will just add some paint around and it will level out while drying so don't worry if it's not perfectly leveled right now because it will level out but as you can see you can get a nice flower with that pouring medium with nice lacing so I think that this is kind of cool love it torch for the air bubbles and if you think that your middle is not quite as nice I just dip here in the middle a little bit to correct okay and I'm done so let me take you down for a close-up okay see here I, I didn't do a, a good job with this part but it was I meant to show it was my purpose to show you the mixing process and how to layer your paints to get lacing so I'm pretty happy with this one hope that this will help <laughs> I was really happy with uh, some flowers that we did on the poor on poor corn so I hope that I will see more of them in the future I will not be able to show you the dry result because as I said I had to <laughs> do this video in two days because it was just too much for me to stand to do something for 15 minutes I was just exhausted so hope that you like it and see you on the next one. Bye!